Good morning, everybody. This is Dan. Some of you know me as Ohio Run. Uh, I request for videos. Uh, so, I was off today. And, put here at the computer. I ain't got a whole lot to do. Pull it outside. So, I drank my coffee. Figured I'd uh, shoot a quick video. Um, a lot of requests for um, being prepared, prepping. Um, some video or some request for me to a video on the economy and what I think is going on and in what direction I think we're headed. Um, I'm no scholar. I you know, just study what I think should be studied and I follow the unauthorized versions of the news that the government don't want you to read. Pay attention to. Um, so maybe I'll just ramble on right now, and since I'm off on Friday, I'll uh, try and figure out which way to uh, put a video up, whether it be about the economy or preparing. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys decide. You tell me what you want to see. Uh, I see a lot of things going on. A lot of countries don't want to use the dollar anymore. Uh, printing money to try and stabilize our economy, which we all know that will never help. That long hurt history shows most countries that print money to stabilize their economy fall. Uh, so I don't see how that's going to help us. So being prepared is all we can. Um, a lot of riots going on all over um, different countries for the right reason or for the wrong reason. Um, that's however which way you see it. Um, some's good, some's bad. Uh, not good when the governments of the world try to take the money away from the people. Um, but when they don't have any money to give up free things away anymore, that's what your people that's on these government assistance programs that uh, are upset because now they got to figure out a way to survive. And since they could survive when they were able to get out and work and make money for themselves and their family, and they didn't feel like it, and they felt like just getting the free side of it. Um, now they're not going to have that, so they ain't really going to have much of a way to survive. Being prepared is probably your best bet at this point. How long it's going to take for things to go on, I'm not sure. Uh, if you follow history, we're right on the path of uh, sliding down the big slope. So, if you're not prepared, you better start getting there. Uh, maybe the next 12 months? Who knows? Maybe the next two years? Who knows? Maybe the next couple of weeks? I hope not. I'm not completely ready yet. Um, prepare yourself for what's to come, um, whether it be good or bad. Uh, it is winter now, so anything that you can have in reserve, food-wise or heat-wise or just everyday living, you know, preparing yourself would be uh, great, even though it's winter time. Because you, know, you never know when the power is going to go out. And you have to save your food somehow. You know, whether it be in this cold outside, you can keep it outside. So. <clears throat> um, prices of fuel have gone up. Price of food has gone up. Uh, how that affects your everyday life. Well, you don't have as much money to spend on Christmas. You don't have as much money to live. Um, a lot of different options for the next video. Uh, a lot of countries don't want to use the dollar anymore for anything. Um, they want to change the way they do business with us uh, because they no longer have any confidence in our government, which we are.
study history, study the rise and fall of uh, Germany, all these major countries that that's been on top. Uh, they all done it. Um, printing off more money to try and stabilize the economy. Being prepared right now is the, is the best thing you can do um, with the winter months. Cold outside, power can go out, and then you can in your freezer and cold that and keep it outside. Um, or if you have food in reserve that you can break into two weeks, uh, it's up to you whichever way you decide to do it. Uh, but comment, let me know which way you want me to do the next video, whether it be economy, preparedness. My views on things. So, just comment that out. Let me know which way you want me to go with this. And uh, you guys have a good day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day off and see what I can get into. Have a good one.